Good morning, everybody. This is Fred Meissner with the FredReport.com doing some work for the Market Technicians Association on the parabolic uh, stop and reverse indicator. This is a more interesting indicator than some of the other ones because of the genesis of the indicator, and we'll talk about that on the next slide. Uh, the first thing to remember about the parabolic stop and reverse indicator was it was first designed to trade commodities, and it was designed to trade commodities in the 1970s. Back at that time, you had the uptick rule in stocks, so this indicator really was not used on stocks. Like a lot of Wells Wilder's indicators, it has been transferred over to the stock market, uh, and now that the uptick rule is gone, you can actually use the parabolic system to trade stocks. It is basically a trend-following system that is always in the market through the use of stops and stop and reverse orders. By that, what that means is you buy buy long a stock or a commodity and let's say we'll buy long at a price of 10 for example and you put an order to sell two units in at nine that's your stop and reverse so when the market falls if the market falls your long goes away at nine and you're in a short position in the market uh, I use this indicator in a couple of different ways than that. The, these ways are actually not necessarily on your uh, PowerPoint, but realize this is a good way to use to set trailing stops automatically. And when you use this in conjunction with moving averages, it is an excellent indicator of trend. So I usually use this system to confirm trends that are defined by moving averages. Okay. To deconstruct the parabolic time price system or the stop and reverse system, the stop and reverse is the previous price that is either the lowest price reached while in the previous short trade or the highest price reached while in the previous long trade. So you'll take that price and then add the unique feature of the parabolic system, which is an acceleration factor, which is a built-in method that causes that stop and reverse point to tighten up the longer the trend is in effect, i.e., if your original stop loss is 10%, by the time the trend ends, that stop loss may have fallen to 4% or even 3%. You can adjust the uh, acceleration factor in the parameters on your Reuters machines or any other quote service. But it is essentially a trailing stop that tightens up automatically as long as the trend is in effect. Um, to use the indicator in a bullish way is very simple. First of all, you buy long when the reversal point is hit or you just entered the market long, however you do that. The stop will be the lowest significant low of the formation before your long entry. You will enter an order to liquidate the long position, which will be one stop, and assume sh a short position, which will be another stop loss order at the same price at the SAR, which means, of course, stop and reverse point. And note that as the trend goes along, that SAR will move up along with price. It will get closer to the current market price the longer the trend remains in effect. And that's part of the acceleration factor we talked about on the previous chart. Let's see some examples. You can see that the, this is represented by little dots. Uh, a dot below the market indicates that you are long, and a dot above the market indicates that you are short. So you can see on the chart where you went short. It says sell short and exit long. That was a fairly nice price level on the index. You can see the index fell rather neatly, and then on a rebound, it went long. Uh, as well as getting you out of the short position. It then fell all the way back down, got you short at the very bottom, rallied back up, got you long again, came down, got you short again, and then turned around and got you long again, all in a choppy set of formations uh, without making you much money either way. And that's, again, a key point to remember for all the trend-following indicators that you see in this video series. They do not work well in choppy trending markets, but if you go over to the period of September and you see where that basically bought and went long, you will see you got a very nice large ride in the parabolic system once the market started to trend again. So I like this chart to illustrate the parabolic. It shows A, a good short trade, B, a short long trade, and C, the fact that the indicator doesn't work as effectively in a trading range. 
Um, you can see another example here of this, which is a little bit better trading, where you can see a nice short sale that took place back in May, covered in June, a little bit of chop, and again, a nice move up in September, and then a nice move down right near the highs, all the way down to where you bought and covered your short right at the end of this chart. How do we use the indicator when it's bearish? Obviously, that will be the exact opposite of when it is bullish. We will sell short when the stop and reverse point is hit. The stop loss will be the highest significant high of the formation. And again, we will enter an order to both liquidate the short position and assume a long position via two stop loss orders. Note that the stop loss point then moves down along with price. We'll also get current closer to the current market price, the longer the downtrend remains in effect. And again, we'll use that very same chart to illustrate that. This is actually a perfect chart to use to illustrate the stop and reverse strategy, how it works in shorts, how it works in longs, and how it fails in trading ranges. I would recommend anyone who's looking at the parabolic just simply apply the parabolic to their chart and then run through and look at some of the stocks they've traded successfully over the past year and see how this system would have helped them do it. Um, we've got another choppy chart here. Natural gas is interesting because natural gas had a big blow up finally during the year and you ended up with a nice short sale, a stop loss that took you out of the market and then reshorted. Basically, you can see that using this method, you caught the lion's share of the down move without doing much in the way of thought. Like to thank everybody and note that this presentation was made possible by the Market Technicians Association. I'm Fred Meissner, president of the Fred Report, www.thefredreport.com. And if anyone has any questions on this video, please contact the MTA and I will respond to those questions. Thank you and enjoy your trading.